Why would Gus pretend to leave town, Kane? Well, what do you think? So he could do the job without you guys suspecting him. He planned to, to get the money, give it to this guy, and then shoot through. Then he tripped the alarm and realised you guys were going to be after him, so he did the bolt with the cash, called me, and uh, here we are. If he was in the car with you, how come there was no sign of him when we pulled you over? Well, he ran off. That's what I'm telling you, all right? He heard the sirens, he started freaking out, he ran off into the bushes. So, I mean, you guys should really be out there looking for him instead of sitting in here interviewing me. Look, there's a team out there now looking through the bush near where you were pulled over, OK? On a wild goose chase. Right, so does that mean you believe me? It means I'm entertaining the possibility. <laughs> no matter how far-fetched it seems. What is your problem, mate? Oh, I don't have a problem, but you will when we get the fingerprints off that gun. Hey, so I you told you my man. fingerprints are going to be on the gun. I was struggling with Dad when he was trying to get out of the car. I grabbed the gun, OK? This is stupid. They're not going to believe a word I say. Um, Detective, my client has told you everything he knows. Now you either formally charge him or we go. Either way, this interview is over. The interview is over when we say it's over. Interview suspended at 10.58pm. OK. I need to make some more inquiries and I can't do it at this time of night, so you're free to go. Oh, he should at least be held in custody. He won't go anywhere. Will you? No, he will not. But I must caution you not to leave this area, OK? We need to speak to you again very soon. Well, um, there's nothing more I can do tonight. I'll be in touch in the morning and we'll take it from there. Thanks, Maury. Thank you. Fine, I'll just do my best to get everything cleared up. Thanks. Thanks, I know you will. Cheers. Bye. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. This is so crazy. What was Peter thinking? Oh, well, at least he'd let me come home. If it was up to Harper, I'd be spending the night in the cells. But Peter knows you wouldn't do something like this. I mean, he of all people... Oh, look, I wouldn't believe my story either. I mean, what kind of father would let their son take the rap for something they didn't do? I didn't even know why I'm surprised. I kept telling myself, oh, there must be some other reason why he's back in town. But nah, nah, I let myself believe him like a total sucker. I should know he couldn't change. Sorry, sorry. No, no, you don't have to be sorry. I'd be a mess if I was you. Sweetheart, look, I'm... I know it's hard, but you've really got to try and keep your chin up here. We'll sort this out. We will. I'm just going to jump in the shower. Well, don't, don't you think you should ring Kirsty? She's got a right to know. Oh, there's nothing she can do now. Oh, Kane, love, you know what she's like. If she finds out you've kept this from her... Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll call her. Well, look, let me ring her. I, I don't mind. No, look, I'll call her. I just need some time to get my head together, so thanks. You fancy a coffee? I don't think I ran at mind us helping ourselves under the circumstances. Oh, thank you. You know, this is a great thing you're doing, helping young Kane like this. Well, I'm not completely devoid of compassion, you know. Oh, I know, I know. It's just with the past that you and Kane have had together. I don't like seeing innocent people chewed up by the system, no matter what indiscretions they might have been guilty of before. How come you're so sure he is innocent this time? Don't you think he is? Well, of course I do. I'm asking you. It's not like you to believe someone that's had as colourful and chequered career as Kane. Alfred, I know a lie when I hear it, and he's telling the truth. You think you'll be able to convince them of that? Yeah, that'll be right. Kid's just getting himself back on the straight and narrow, got a baby on the way, and now this happens. Well, I promise to help him as much as I can, but with the evidence as it is... Sorry to ring so late. Uh, yeah, I miss you too. A lot. How's Laura? Good. Good. Tell her to say hi. Actually, no. Cursed. I'm in big trouble. Hey, 
You're in early. Can you normally have a date with a surfboard this time of the day? I wanted to get a head start on the robbery. I take it uh, Jones and Rice have had no luck finding a trace on Gus Phillips last night. No sign of it. And we got a report from the manager of the bus depot. A man matching Gus Phillips' description bought a ticket from Yabby Creek to Queensland at 8.05 yesterday morning. All right, thanks. Oi, how much longer are we going to wait before we charge the guy? Well, we've got to get some more evidence before we can do anything. Oh, come on, Pete. I know he's some kind of friend of yours. But hey, that's got nothing to do with this, mate. Oh, he's lying through his teeth. It's open and shut. Guys? I need to take someone with me to the interview this morning. Take Lara. Fine. Five minutes? Sure. Morning, Hamish. Hi. Do you know Constable Fitzgerald? Is this about Kane? I just wanted to have a word with you or Jess or Josie as his employers. Well, I'm the only one that's around at the moment and there's nothing I can really tell you. I won't take up much of your time. He did ask for some extra shifts, yeah, but... You we... gave them to him? Well, of course we did. He's a good worker. And what's Kane's demeanour been like in the last couple of days leading up to the robbery? What do you mean? Well, has he been himself or, you know, anxious, nervous, on edge? Pretty much normal, I guess. You guess? He arrived for his shift on time. He seemed absolutely fine. And he left about 7.30. Was that the end of his shift? We were quiet, so I let him go early. Well, looked pretty busy when I was in. Hayley, I know you want to protect him, all right? But if you hold back anything, it might actually be something that could help him. He said he felt sick, so that's why I let him go early. But you said he seemed OK yesterday. Yeah, and he did. He was absolutely fine. It, it just came on pretty quickly later in the night. Well, we've heard that kane has been short of money lately. I'm telling you, mate, this isn't a money issue. If he was really desperate, he could have got the dough any number of places. Matter of fact, I offered to lend him some myself just yesterday morning. And did he take it? No. Why, if he needed it? Alf? He said there was another way he could get his hands on the cash. But he didn't say what? Just said he had something up his sleeve to take care of it. 